Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're looking forward to one of the biggest, if not the biggest, icon pack yet today in FIFA 23, and that is the 89 plus prime or World Cup icon that was added to the code a couple of days ago, and today would be the perfect day for EA to drop it. So we're going to talk about the potential of that SBC coming today and how, of course, it will impact the market. SBC fodder prices and also will icons be dropping today? Will there be additional panic selling on the market and maybe more drops in these future stars cards because of this SBC coming out of the game. I think that's probably going to happen. So we'll talk about that. And of course, we have to cover yesterday's crazy content for a Saturday, a dual flashback SBC, Chris Smalling with Phil Jones inside of it. And the very interesting Future Stars Academy upgrade, 82 plus player pick that is overpriced. But again, EA's doing EA things. And I want to talk with you guys about that because this is interesting, but expensive. So we'll be speaking about a lot today, especially related to the market in the second half of the video as well. But first, let's talk about this 89 plus icon pack coming today. So if you're excited for that pack today, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. This is the pack we're talking about, just to cover the basics really fast. 89 plus Primal World Cup Icon Pack. Oftentimes we see this codes added a couple days before, and these icon packs have most often been dropping on Sundays for the past like month and a half, basically since the new year. Sundays have been the day where we either get hero player picks or icon packs. Now, this one's big because it's the first icon pack that is only Prime or World Cup. We had the 88 plus mid Prime or World Cup the past couple of weeks. Now we're graduating up to another one. Now, the 89 plus is going to be a lot of Prime in this guys there's obviously not a lot of world cup icons there's just a few but this is exciting because it's just primes in those world cups and uh it doesn't you know the 89 plus aspect of this doesn't take out any prime icons only three of the world cups but if you take a look at the price of these primes there are a lot of cheap prime icons this is actually you know it's going to be a gamble pack and probably not going to be amazing value but there are a decent amount of prime icons that are still really expensive. A lot of two to 300,000 coin prime icon cards. And that's where the question is, where is this going to be priced? Because you've, of course, got the R9, you've got the Pele, you've got the Hullet, these guys that are multiple million coin cards that everybody hopes they're going to pack today from an icon pack, right? But of course, you do have the guys on the other end that are about 100,000 coins like Cliver, Trezeguet, and Scherer that a lot of people uh, are going to be packing instead of the big boys. So we keep thinking about a price for this. And I really, I've come down to the guesstimation of 300 to 350,000 coins because of how much those primes are. Unless EA want to go out and make this SBC really, really cheap today and really cause some chaos on the market, I think it's going to be around 300,000 coins. So again, to prepare for that, what might you need? I think you're going to need some of the middle to high rated fodder. I think you're going to need some of the 85s up to the 89s, maybe the 90s and 91s. I'm not entirely sure uh, how they're going to make this SBC be segmented today, if you know what I mean, right? They could go for like four different segments and do like 84, 85, 86, 87. You know, that would end up being a little bit cheaper, right? Or they could maybe have an 88 or maybe even an 89 rated squad requirement. I doubt 89, but an 88 squad requirement would not be out of question today for this SBC. Uh, again, we keep saying today, this SBC could drop tomorrow on, on Monday as well. But Sundays have been the day most consistently that EA have been dropping packs like this. So we're really going to assume that it's going to be today. So I'm saying around 300,000 coins. And if you take a look at these prices, 85 is 13,000 coins, 86 is at 17K, 84 is at 4.8. They're down just a little bit around the same price as yesterday, but really not that big of a difference. I know a lot of people have been investing in the 87s, 88s, and in that sort of range. So I would be careful with fodder today because there's been a lot of investing in this type of pack uh, for, for this type of pack. But again, there's so much hype around an icon pack like this, and a lot of people would love to do this pack today to get a chance at an icon. So I do believe fodder will go up unless this pack is uncharacteristically overpriced, which I doubt it's going to be. Um, and, you know, people would then sell their investments then if it's overpriced and there wouldn't be demand for the SBC. But I do believe fodder will still go up today. So watch your 90s and 91s as well. They're not up as much right now. And if there is an 88 or maybe even an 89 rated squad requirement inside of this SBC today, those could be going up more as I feel like they're invested in 
just a little bit less, but it all depends on the requirements, what fodder is going to go up the most. Now, that's the fodder side of things. What's going to happen to some icons, right? Will there be any icons that drop off in price today? Yes, I do believe so, especially on some of your middle tier icons that are around the price of the SBC, the guys that are going to get packed the most, right? I think about like uh, Prime Balak is around like 300, 400,000 coins, 385. A card like this, probably going to get packed pretty often today from the pack, or at least more often than an Eto would um, so maybe some of these cards I would watch out for uh, maybe like a, a Blanc as well I don't know I feel like Blanc pops out a lot from icon upgrade packs and stuff like that so Blanc is 315 K you know maybe a card like this drops off some today I bet there would be a little bit of panic selling today on some icons as people anticipate this SBC but for guys like the Eto uh, some of the higher tier cards if they have really big drop-offs today this might be an opportunity to trade with them because how many people are actually going to pack a toe today that would be selling their tradable version because they packed the untradable? Not that many. So just watch the market today. There will be some panic selling on the icons. And then we always say, see this too, right? I mean, this is a common trend that we see so many times now with EA just doing EA things on this game, dropping these types of packs that people end up selling cards for, not just icons. People have to sell cards to afford this pack. And, you know, I would watch out on some of your more meta cards cards today as well out of packs cards and the whole rest of the market especially cards that are 500,000 coins and less because if this SBC is coming in at about 300,000 coins people are going to have to sell something maybe from their team to get that SBC done and to afford the fodder they maybe have to buy to complete the SBC so watch out for meta cards today out of packs cards because there might be opportunities to either buy those cards for a little bit cheaper for your team or you know if you want to sell ahead of time some cards could be dropping today because of that so definitely watch out for that uh, there is going to be a lot of movement today on the market in those specific areas because people will sell cards for the SBC and they will be buying cards today I would expect to see those fodder prices on the 85s all the way up to like the 91s maybe even moving upwards ahead of the content drop today as people go out and invest before the SBC would drop, of course, hoping to make some profit. So watch out for that today. That's the big piece of content today on Sunday on this game, but it's not the only thing. And uh, I think there's a couple other things today on Sunday that would make things a bit interesting. Not just will we get SBCs today, but Sunday is the mini release day right ea have even told us they're nice enough now they just show us on their website what dates and what times are going to release these uh mini release cards there are three cards that have been leaked that are not out in the game yet so today's mini release of future stars team 2 is most likely going to be this malasia card which right now looks like it's going to be even in more demand after the phil jones sbc was dropped yesterday so a nice malasia card hopefully dropping today along with another prem center back body of shill um, we're hoping that he's in the mini release today. Again, a little bit cryptic on this tweet from Foot Sheriff earlier in the week, but Body of Shill potentially in the mini release today as well. I would expect it, but we'll have to see. And then I think the last card that we have is Burkhart, the uh, German striker, pacey German striker in the Bundesliga. But Body of Shill and Malasia are, you know, probably not going to be that expensive. Uh, but remember, Cherokee last week kind of held a higher price day one just because he has less pack supply being released in packs on a Sunday rather than a Friday. So watch out for Malasia, Body of Shill, and Burkhart today and then last week on sunday we had the flashback sbc for theo walcott will we get another flashback today there is a leak for one and it's this guy right here balotelli has been leaked as a flashback now this is not um guaranteed to be coming today but uh balotelli does not have any special cards yet this year in fifa and he is in a very interesting league i believe he's in the swiss league if we look, click on uh, Mario Balotelli's card, he has got four star, four star. He is in the sweet, the Swiss league, yep. And he is medium, low work rates, high and average body type. Um, we've had a couple Balotelli cards in the past that have been really, really fun to use. We had one last year, his Tots card. Um, that was a really fun card. It would have flashback in FIFA 20 as well. So hopefully we get a card kind of like this flashback. Uh, if only they would maybe boost the uh, skill move with a weak foot up. Did this card in uh, last year in 22, did he have a five-star weak foot last year? He had five-star skills. That's right. Yeah, he had five-star skills last year. That was a blast of a card. So watch out for this maybe being today. But again, we still have some other future stars leaks out there as well. That Taram and the Jovetic. So either of those could all be coming today. I would expect to see a player SBC though, as Sundays are pretty consistently like good days 
for content uh, in FIFA the past couple of weeks. We usually we get some sort of hero or icon pack, a player SBC, as they usually kind of front load the player SBCs in the promos to the weekends. So I would expect to see some of that today on the game as well. And that'll probably be a wrap for your Sunday content. Maybe another token SBC. Uh, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if they drop two tokens today in the game, whether it's just via SBC or whether they put one somewhere else, because uh, we are on 25 tokens right now. Just to show you guys really quick, I'm using the footprint tracker now just because I've figured out there's a footprint tracker and it's a lot easier and nicer to look at than the other one, in my opinion. But yesterday's tokens were in the Future Stars Challenge 6 and the first objective of the Nuno Tavares Academy objective. So... 25 tokens we are up to right now that means we have five to go and uh the, the the token promo ends this friday this coming friday so all this goes away then so hopefully ea will nice be nice to us and give us two more tokens today to get us to 27 so watch out for that however they're going to get it done i do hope we get two tokens today because we are closing in on the end so that's kind of a wrap for what to expect today on FIFA 23 in terms of the content. Again, it's all about that icon SBC, right? That's really what's going to move the market today. And speaking of move the market, I think today on the market will be a very interesting day. Let's start by talking about this market in general. Yesterday, we talked about market crashes. Will it would ever crash? You know, stuff like that. And we're, we've kept seeing prices uh, drop off. Some prices have continually fallen since yesterday and a lot more prices on the game are just kind of down in general uh alfonso davies last night was what 330 i saw him at 300k flat earlier today that was a card we looked at looked at on the video last night uh harry kane's team of the year honorable mentions card was like 340 last night i saw him at like 310 315 wow he just had a moment of rarity and popped back up to 340 he was 310 for a while earlier today uh three at least under 320 so a lot of prices that i'm seeing around this market right now are still kind of slowly dropping now of course uh we take a look at the gold mbappe right it's kind of our gold standard 817 so mbappe is starting to fall off a little bit more as well basically what i felt yesterday seems to be kind of confirmed it feels like we have now left the super high peaks and the super duper duper high prices on a lot of these cards and we are now kind of entering not a market crash but just a market that is losing some steam if you will and that's why you're starting to see some prices go down i would i would say that's the best way to put it the game is losing a little bit of steam the content lately hasn't been spectacular it's been good but it hasn't been spectacular and a lot of prices are kind of just following uh this trend so i know there's been a lot of course yesterday with the content that we had there's been a lot of impact to the center backs on the market so if we avoid looking at those because a lot of those cards are going to be down extra I mean, look at Cherokee, 540. That's a bit of an undercut right there. But if you look at his price yesterday, you know, he was like 610, 620 at one point and is now down into the low 500s. I might have to take a look at that for a potential quick flip. That's down a lot in a short amount of time and it's a rare card out of packs. But a lot of the market just kind of continues to be, it just seems to have less demand a little bit right now. So as you look at, especially the team's, uh, that are in packs, like Future Stars Team 2. These cards dropped off a lot yesterday. But your cards that are out of packs, you know, you've seen slight drops, right? Fred was down a little. This Mohamed Salah is down some. It's not everywhere, but it's on most places on the market. We are seeing prices fall, um, and I don't think it's worthy of a crash or something like that, but I feel like people are just starting to sell a little bit. Part of the reason why that's happening too, I think, is because EA is starting to drain a lot of coins out of people's accounts. We've had a lot of small SBCs that have been chipping away, right? We had the 82 times 20 last week. We had the Walcott SBC. Now we have a Chris Smalling that a lot of people are doing with the Phil Jones inside of it. And SBCs like this, guys, this is where I want to talk about yesterday's content a bit. SBCs like this drain a ton of coins from the market because even though we look at this and we say, Nate, this is not a good value. And I'm actually going to do one of these right now to get my swap token. Look at what I'm turning in here. I'm turning in one, two, three, four. I'm turning in four 83 rated cards to get this 82 rated squad done to get a player pick between one of three 82 plus players. It's not good value, but this is the type of SBC that people love to grind because it's a pretty good player pick. The price is just not that great. Uh, but people still want to do this because it gives them an opportunity to pack a Future Stars Team 2 card or just to pack high-rated fodder, which maybe if they're trying to craft Mbappe, they're going for that and stuff like that. This would have been great during Team of the Year. It's a lot of people have mentioned uh, because we had nothing to do with 82s earlier in the year. But when you get an 84 back, you're like, mm, is it really worth it? No, that 84 right there is worth 5,000 coins. 
every single time you do this right now, this is coming in at, I believe, like 10,000 coins, 12,000 coins, according to Footbin right now. That's why you basically have to get an 85 out of each player pick for it to be good value uh, or average an 85 out of each one to make it good value. But this is the type of gamble type of pack that, you know, EA know people love in this game. And this is something new, right? We've never had an objective like this where they've dropped a player pick that you have to do, an SBC that you have to do over and over and over to complete a player objective. That's crazy in its own right. So, of course, when you compare this player pick uh, to the objective for Nuno Tavares, you're like, Nate, this card is really not worth doing. And I agree with you. Now, I know a lot of people are doing this because you do get some fodder along the way. You do get some nice packs in there as well, some 83 doubles. Actually, the 83 doubles, the only pack that you get in there, uh, besides the 75 plus and some of the other future stars versions of Nuno Tavares. But 80 defense at this stage of the game, yeah, his links are pretty interesting. But I just think, even though he's got a five star weak foot and some really nice shot power, 96 shot power, you know, this card for me is not worth the, uh, you know, like 500,000 coins from scratch, technically, you know, that it would take to get this entirely done. Now, I know there's ways to grind this and you guys that are like, Nate, I'm doing this not to maybe get this done, but I'm doing this 82 plus player pick just to have some opportunity to get some good pack pulls and stuff like that and to, to risk it and gamble a bit. I completely understand that. And there are a lot of ways where you can get the fodder, get the 82s, get the 83s, get the 81s to get this SPC done cheaper than 12,000 coins. But again, I understand that and it is grindable and it is craftable, but I do believe still this is overpriced, but it's a gamble, right? And what do we know about the gambles? You win some, you lose some, and a lot of people do them on this game. But it's just like EA continue to amaze us with how they will integrate the gamble aspect side of things and make you want to do this player pick because it's a nice player pick at the same time you're completing an objective, right? And this is the second time we've seen this this year. We, we still have the 80 plus that is available that was dropped during Centurions, but that's even a bit different right that was just an 80 plus upgrade pack this is a player pick for right now which i've seen some people get really good pulls out of this i've seen a lot of people just get 83s and 84s and 82s like i did in mine so you know that's a gamble i mean I'll, i would love to hear your guys's opinions and your comments down below because i think there are some w comments and some w like outlooks on that and i also think and the grand scheme of things, a lot of people think that it's overvalued. So that's just a lot to say. Uh, it can go both ways. But that was, again, just really interesting content because we've never seen something quite like that on this game uh, from EA Sports. And then, of course, I can't go without shouting out the Chris Smalling and the Phil Jones. Was not expecting the Smalling. Smalling was leaked yesterday uh, after we dropped the video. But uh, this is a nice card. I mean, 88 sprint speed, 80 acceleration. The split is a little bit off there, but good reactions, composure, great stats. And this is a card that is making a lot of center backs drop. Be careful trading with center backs right now in this game. Um, some center backs from other leagues, like maybe the Prem, maybe the La Liga or Ligue 1, I would look into a little bit more, but a lot of your center backs from Syria and just center backs in general. Remember when I sold Kim Min Jae yesterday at uh, like 89,000 coins? My guy's in the 50K range now. Like he is down a ton. A lot of your low to mid tier center backs are down like crazy uh, due to the fact that, you know, even Cordoba's down. Uh, due to the fact that those two were dropped yesterday in the SBCs, that's an SBC that so many people are going to do. Even if it's not 100% meta, it's a fun card and it's pretty cheap to craft up and get done. So GG's to EA for that content because that is honestly really, really nice content uh, yesterday. It was a surprisingly W day besides the objective and stuff. A W day for that SBC uh, yesterday on that game, on the game, in my opinion. Now, really quickly, last thing, Future Stars Team 2 prices. I made, actually, I made a lot of coins yesterday, guys. It was really unexpected how many coins we made yesterday. Um, you know, last time in the video, I said I bought Musiala for 1.7, sold him for 1.8, bought Timbers at 300 to 310, sold one way too early, sold one slightly early, and sold one around the right time. These guys absolutely exploded yesterday way more than I expected them to and way more than I think they will ever again on this game. Like Enketia went from 230 where I bought him all the way to 270. I'm glad I listed at 270 overnight because he ended up selling. It went great. And now he's back down to the 174 range. Will these guys have the same bounce today? I doubt it. I really doubt they're going to have the exact same spike today on this game. Uh, but I do think their prices will continue to fluctuate. Like 
I just picked up an Araujo at 700,000 coins. He's back up to about 750. Um, uh, I tried out, but I, I flipped another Moose. This guy is like my favorite guy to trade right now in this game. Musiala, I bought right here last night. I bought right here, 1.7. I sold him right here. I listed him overnight and sold at 1.87. He went all the way down to 1.59. I bought him at 1.56 on a snipe. Boom, jumps back up to 1.7. I sold him there. Now he's down to 1.4. Hey, we're probably going to buy him at like 1.4 or 1.39. And then I'll list him up at like 1.5 something and it'll sell tomorrow, right? I don't even know if I'm going to buy him tonight. But these guys are just fluctuating a ton in price. But again, all of them are lower right now than where we were yesterday, right? And that's why I always tell you guys the Saturdays bring drop-offs to the Impacts promo cards 9 times out of 10. And that happened again with literally every single one of these cards. So today will be a very interesting day to watch these guys. Sundays are usually low points. Sunday nights, depending on the content today with the 89 plus pack, uh, the icon pack, if that drops, these guys might be really, really good buys for a rise tomorrow. We saw the Future Stars from Team 1 rise really nice from Sunday into Monday last week. I think the same thing could be replicated this week with this Team number 2. So we'll have to see which cards drop off the most, but that's going to be a very interesting part of the market that we will be keeping an eye on today. But these guys have been so fun to trade with because people want to try them out and they're not crazy supply to the market. They're semi supplied. So we're seeing some really, really good movements on them. And then again, as we did expect to see, we saw a lot of drops on pro level cards yesterday, like this VVD. And I think you're going to see it a bit more today. Some of your top tier, most expensive cards in this game, some of your icons, some of your really expensive versions of Mbappe. Like I saw this version of Mbappe go down from like 6 million coins. I think he was like 5.2. Uh, at one point, I don't know where he is now. He might be back up a little bit, but I would expect to see some of these cards dropping again. Yeah, he's back to what is this? 5.9. He's going to drop again today, and a lot of your other top tier cards, like some of your uh, World Cup icons, some of your, or sorry, your World Cup heroes, like the Lucio, the Ayatore, some of your guys like Walker, like this Kyle Walker card I was looking at right here was like he was under 800K, and now he's back up into the mid to high 800s, probably going to drop down again today. So if you have any of those cards, be careful and actually look out for potential opportunities to trade in as well. Uh, one card that I'm just thinking of right now, one last example, Erling Holland, team of the year was like 4.4 mil to start the day yesterday. He was all the way down at 4 million flat, and now he's back up to like 4.2 to 4.3. So you're going to have more fluctuation today as those pro qualifiers are going on and as they sell their teams. A lot of those guys do sell their teams after playing, and you see the prices dip down. So watch the market very closely today. It's going to be a great day. Hopefully that 89 plus pack drops. Again, it could be tomorrow and Monday, but I really think it's going to be today, especially since that 87 plus player pick is going away. So if you're excited for that today, again, hit drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any comments or questions, and subscribe if you are new. I will catch you guys on a stream today, hopefully right around the content drop to catch what happens with everything today in the game. It's been Nate's Foot Account, and catch you guys there. Peace. Out.